Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show a flash sale demonstration in the 12 Days of Commerce. And what we're going to do is have a flash sale for a Nike t-shirt on our site uh, to go from noon to 5 p.m. Eastern on Friday. And you can use things like remote widgets and Facebook to promote it. And in this sale, we're going to offer a 20% discount only during that time. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we needed to do was actually create the advertisement. And you can see here that I created this advertisement and we're going to go ahead and export this as a PNG file. And what we'll do is we'll say PNG, save it, we'll merge all the layers, and go ahead and save. And now we'll take that image and we'll import it into Webster Commerce. Okay, first thing we'll do is log into Webster Commerce. It's a web-based application. And we're going to go over to the Assets tab and we're going to work on our Madison site and this is where we uploaded the logo in the last tutorial we're going to put in a new file and it is the Nike Flash Ping and we'll go ahead and save that and close so the next thing we want to do is go over to promotions And we'll also select the Madison site. And what we want to do is set up the, essentially the financials part of this special. So we're going to create a new promotion. Let's see, uh, catalog entry promotion, percentage off subtotal of catalog entries. Okay. And we'll do 20% off Nike T on Friday, December 23rd. It's qualifying purchase. We'll just bump this priority up. And let's search for Nike. be any one of these right here so that's the item that we're going to have a promotion on uh, the minimum purchase we'll say one and it's going to get 20% off we'll set a maximum redemption limit of one and for the schedule we're going to go ahead and pick this Friday from noon to 5 p.m. and it will no longer be available after 5 p.m. so let's go ahead and save that and enable it and you can see now it's read-only we can close it out so now we need to go set up the rest of the ad and we do that under marketing and if we click Madison's we come in here and you can see we need to make a content area so we can display the ad on the site so we're going to create some new content and we'll say Nike 20% flash ad and the associated asset, we can actually just search for it. Like we did with the logo. And there it is. And drag that over to there. Now we can also have a click action. So we can predefine a click action. And we want to do display a catalog entry. And we'll pick the Nike one. And this basically says 
you know, for the image, go ahead and allow it when the shopper clicks on the image to go ahead and show this uh, entry in our catalog. And we'll save and we'll close that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and set up the E spot. Okay, in setting up the E spot, what we want to do is we're going to use the preview function here. We're going to launch the store. And we're going to look and see what the eSpot name is that we want to use. And we're going to put the ad right here. So I click the uh, Show Marketing Spots. And you'll notice there's the name of the eSpot. So we can copy that to the clipboard. Okay. And what I want to do is I'm actually going to copy this to clipboard here. So it's on the clipboard. And when we create the activity, we can come in. We're going to create a blank web activity. And we're going to name it Nike Flash Sale. And we're going to give it a relatively high priority. We're going to pick 12 p.m which I need to go back in and change the promotion to 12 p.m. I'm going to go 5 o'clock p.m. So this means this activity will show only for those times. And our eSpot, homepage row 1 ad, we go into our actions, and for the content, we can use the clipboard and drag and drop that over here or we could have searched for it but I like to show the different features and that's pretty much it for the eSpot. Now let's go back well actually we'll save it and then we'll enable it and close and let's go back to our promotion and inside of the list view here we can actually limit the list by filtering only on our site so if we'll notice we'll come in here Yes, exactly. It's 12 a.m. So what we need to do is we need to select it, disable it, and now we can edit it. And if we scroll down to the schedule, we can change this to p.m. Save, and close, and we'll go ahead and enable it. We can also look at this in a calendar view. So if we limit down to Madison eSight, you can see here that our ad is now going to be only available on a tiny little slice in December. And there you go. So now we can actually go ahead and test the site. So let's go ahead and preview the site. Okay, so we'll use the same preview function and we're going to specify this Friday at 12 p.m. and you can see our ad shows up and we can verify that it's in the right e-spot and when we click on it It takes us right to the product. We can select the size and color, add it to the cart. And then if we click on the cart, we can see that the 20% off Nike flash sale has been applied to it. So now we know the promotion and the ad works in the given time frame and we should probably do a negative test to make sure that it uh, doesn't show up in the off time but uh, you're gonna have to take my word on that alright thanks for watching